Minneapolis is paying one and a half million dollars to a man police arrested during the protest following George Floyd's murder two years ago. Jaleel Stallings will get the money as part of a settlement in a civil lawsuit against the city and 19 MPD officers. During Stallings' arrest on May 30th of 2020, body camera footage shows Minneapolis SWAT officers punching and kicking him while he's on the ground. Stallings, who shot at police, was acquitted of attempted murder charges. Kate Raddick spoke to Jaleel Stallings, who says that the money is not enough. I am both satisfied and disappointed. Court documents filed Tuesday show the city of Minneapolis has agreed to pay Jaleel Stallings $1.5 million over his 2020 arrest. But they also say the city and 19 police officers deny the claims and any liability. I went into the civil case with not hopes for a check as much as I was hoping for justice and accountability. Um, and I don't feel like I received that at all. Stallings faced and was acquitted of charges following his arrest near Lake Street and 15th Avenue South that accused him of shooting at officers during the protests over George Floyd's murder. According to court documents, officers were driving an unmarked white van without lights or sirens on when they began shooting non-lethal rounds at a crowd, which included Stallings. Stallings testified he was struck by a bullet and thought he was being attacked by civilians. He claimed self-defense and noted he had a permit to carry. Court documents showed that after Stallings was hit, he fired three shots toward the van as a warning. He surrendered when he realized he had fired at police. Body camera footage showed Minneapolis SWAT officers punching and kicking him as he was on the ground. Just because of the memories they bring up, I try to avoid thinking about it as much as I can, uh, but it doesn't necessarily go that way. The deputy city attorney for Minneapolis released a statement Tuesday saying in part, the city hopes that an early resolution to this matter will allow all of the parties to move forward. Kate Raditz, WCCO 4 News. Stallings now lives in Texas. He says he moved because he no longer felt safe staying in the Twin Cities. This payout for Minneapolis police misconduct is one of many over the past five years. The largest going to George Floyd's family in 2021 for $27 million, followed by $20 million paid in 2019 to Justine Ruschik, Damon's fiance. She was shot and killed after calling 911 in 2017.